What's up, guys? Today is Friday. Finally, Friday. Because today, snap on Friday. Right there's the man. So let's take a look and see what he's got. You guys, come on. I'm glad you are here. I mean, the week is almost you know why? over with. That's right. That means we can get out of this hail hole and be done with it. Yeah, like Mississippi heat out here. Well, ain't no telling how many times people's asked for the part number on that handle changer. We wrote that on there a while back now so that people would see it. <laughs> I guess a lot of folks must like to change handles. I even had the Snap-on guy text me. It had been a few weeks, it had probably been a few months back now. Like, hey, watch the Snap-on Friday videos every week, but I can't find the uh, part number for that handle. It's like on a Sunday. I said, like, I ain't got a clue what it is, and I'm not going out to the truck. I said, if you go back to the videos, I said that uh, <laughs> I've actually wrote it on the press itself. Yeah. And uh, he's, oh, yeah, appreciate it, dude. I go and find it. There must be a lot of people like to change handles a lot, huh? And then everybody's making fun of my handle last week because it's a little messed up. Yeah. Ah, that'd be all right. If I ain't, uh, I said, you can tell someday. that was used with a cheater pipe. What you, talking, what you talking about? What are you talking about, Cletus? Normal wire and tire. Yeah, that's that sitting in the toolbox, does that's it? it. Shut the drawer on it. Yeah, accidentally, on purpose. <laughs> I see you got something cool back here. Yeah. I've been uh, waiting to get them in, in stock fully now. 10 to 19 treatise sets. For the people who ain't got these yet, the jokers are smooth. If you go the right direction with it, I'm trying to turn it backwards. Are they as smooth as Tennessee whiskey? Like, uh, What's his name? Uh, right now they are. Tonight, Tennessee whiskey may be a little bit smoother than what these are, but right now these are smoother <laughs> than Tennessee whiskey. What's his name uh, that sings that? Oh, uh, Stapleton, yeah. Chris Stapleton. I sell him a set. He come talk to me. He got enough money in his pocket? He probably does, I'm sure. He probably can afford to sell him. I'd sell it. Probably even sell him a hammer, too. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he wouldn't need them on a guitar. You can't ever tell. <laughs> Might need them on the tour bus. <laughs> <laughs> Never know. Oh, Chris Stapleton. Well, but, how's your week been? We've been busy this week. I finally sold this tow box. It won't be on here next week. Uh-oh. We'll have a different one. Oh. Uh, I already had two guys ask me, why didn't you unload it? Black so Beauty will be gone, huh? Yeah. Ain't done grow roots here. I'm going to miss it. I mean, it's been with me Flo for a while now. Floor's got dents in it, don't it? Yeah. I mean, I've bought a lot of boxes that I've said, this will sell, like, within a week or within a month. Like, yeah. you usually can look at boxes. I, and I said, that box will sell within a week. It's black on black on black. Black box, black trim, black decals and wheels. This son of a bitch right here been here for six months at least. <laughs> Maybe longer. I don't know. I missed the market on this one. I guarantee you that. So what, what is the easiest, like what toolbox color can you order and put on this truck and it sell the quickest? Green, unfortunately. Green. Green. Yeah. And I mean, I, the green boxes look good. I ain't gonna lie, I like the way the green boxes look. I wouldn't have one myself. I like, I mean, I like the all black. Yeah, I had that green yeah. roll cart that time and yeah. I liked it, but man, after about a month, I was hey, like, they're bright. Well, I'm sick of green. And. Uh, well, I tell you one that sells faster than green, and that's pink. I've never ordered really? a full pink toolbox. I've ordered pink roll carts, the small snap-on, blue point, the big ones. You probably seen that picture on Facebook. I ordered what 25 roll carts at one time. Did a big blowout thing. Had two pink ones and two purple ones. I was like, I won't never sell it. First four toolboxes I sold was the two pink ones and two purple ones. <laughs> you were and to get you about a 84 inch or what is it, 83, ain't it? I, epic, epic 84 
84. Yeah, it gets you a big pink epic in there. Yeah. I got customers that buy all pink stuff because they have somebody in their family, their mom breast or their cancer wife, or somebody has breast cancer. Yep. I got one boy, he's young. He's, I think he's turned 21 this year. He got a pink roll cart, pink mm -hmm. screwdrivers, pink pry bars. And I've asked him, like, what was the reason behind all the pink stuff? I mean, I'm looking for some sentimental story. He's like, guys in the shop won't touch them. Makes sense. I was like, oh, yeah. Anything pink I get, I know on Tuesday by lunch it's gonna be sold. Cause yeah. if it's still here, he's gonna get it if he don't already have it. Right. And but yeah, he got pink screwdrivers. He got two or three pink hammers. And he's been wanting some pink CT tools, but I've yet to get any pink ones. They, <laughs> I've seen pink ones. I haven't ever got any though. Yeah. But he's like, the guys won't touch them. He says they're they're not manly enough to hold a, a pink screwdriver or a pink pry bar. I ain't never said I wasn't man enough to hold that paint. Yeah. Like, but he uh, it's just the color, you know. You walk in the shop and I start going, he'd be using them up. <laughs> Whatever though, I don't care. No. But yeah, I, the pink ones have sold pink roll carts and everything sold faster than anything. But yeah, besides all your normal colors, green seems to be the, the best. best selling. And I've sold probably three or four blacked out like black on black on black yeah and that's the reason when i seen this one come up i was like oh yeah i want that one because it'll sell yeah it didn't for a long Still time you're hanging in here like a hair in a biscuit that's it from can't your, get rid of it from your local convenience store but yeah this one uh <laughs> actually got sold this tuesday this past tuesday and it'll be gone this coming tuesday the guy had to clean out his his shop he got a smaller shop and he's a logger. He used to be a mechanic, but he's, uh, he drives a log truck now. But he works in all his own stuff still. And he's trading in that orange blue point roll cart. And uh, he didn't have time that day to get it cleaned out and yeah. get the spot that in the shop. That orange is out. a good color, too. I like the I like, orange. I like the orange. And the orange boxes don't really sell. The orange roll carts sell, but yeah. the orange boxes don't sell. I guess because they're big, but hey, we sold two of them out of, here, out of your shop. I think two, like 72 inch boxes, yeah. big ones. I figured you'd have sold that Harbor Freight Jack by now. Yeah. It's like a hair and biscuit and joker hanging in there. Can't give it away, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you could. <laughs> <laughs> I can't give it away, but I'm sure it could be gave away. Yeah. Yeah, to be uh Hope it ain't riding around with us much longer, but right now it still is. I gotta go pick up a trade in box. This week I had a special order box for fella. He got it delivered this week, so I gotta go pick up his. What color is it? It's black with orange drawers and black trim. And got a black bedliner type on it too. I bet that's pretty cool looking. Yeah, it's a nice looking box. Well, that's good. That dude bought a box. He downsized boxes and bought two roll carts. He's a dirt truck racer. Wow. And they work on big trucks. So his big box got all his big stuff in it. But yeah. he wanted a roll cart and he can roll around the truck instead of having to walk from one side of the shop to the other. And it makes a, a difference. A roll car he put in his race car trailer for his dirt car and stuff, too. Yeah. And look, I bet that's hell pushing a full loaded roll car up at ramp on a trailer, though. Well, he's on. I think he's leaving this one in his yeah. race car trailer. He has some impacts and stuff he's going to put in it. And I think he's, I don't know what all he's going to put in it. Surely you don't need that many to, well, dirt track guys. I guess mm -hmm. they tear up a lot of stuff, though. Better than the mean. Well, I guess we, uh, when racing season starts back, you're going to have two trucks to, or a car and a truck to drive this year, probably. Yeah. Sounds like We'll run them. <laughs> See what they got. Going to have a coon trucking race truck and a, a Fox body Mustang to drive. Yeah. You'd be like JJ the boss saying, hop out of one, jump in another. <laughs> It'd be a Joven the boss. I say it, Joven the boss. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to go do a video at the racetrack and let you uh yeah we want i wanted to go last night holly springs had the test and tune and was going to go up there but i didn't have my son's car done in time we're doing putting lights and everything on his so he yeah. could see uh which i mean he can see just fine now but all the other cool kids got lights so he think he has to have lights on his that'd now. be rough on a thursday night have to work friday yeah well the, my plan was to like get off on at normal time on Thursday, I'll get home a little early around 3 30, 4 o'clock, but be up there by 5, 5 30, run for an hour or two, and then still be home before 8 o'clock at night. Most you know? normal people may not partake in the beers like I do, though. Well, that's my problem, though. I mean, <laughs> 8 turns into 10, you know? 
Like I don't even dirty my my breath over a six pack no more. No, I mean, yeah. Well. A buddy of mine got married this past weekend. Of course, it was BYOB, bring your own beer, you know. And uh, I told my wife, I said, we got to stop by a store and grab some before we get over there. So they're not going to have no beer. We got to buy our own. Yep. But we left the house. I drove by six stores on the way over there. We weren't even thinking nothing about stopping. We'll get there to the party. And she's like, I thought you were going to stop and get some beer. I was like, I appreciate if you had reminded me at the six stores we passed, you know. <laughs> So we walked in real quick, and they had like 20 minutes for the wedding to get started. We're close to the store, about 15 minutes away. Another buddy of mine, he's like, where's your cooler at? I said, I've run off and forgot. Didn't you stop getting no beer? I said, let's go get some real quick. Then, of course, I told the groom, my little brother, I said, hey, so we got to run and go get some beer. I said, don't start before we get back. Of course, he's thinking about an hour late. He's texting me, calling me. You no, know, 10 minutes after the wedding's supposed to start, where you at? I said, dude, I'm sitting down in the chair. I'm waiting on y'all. Where you at, you know? And he's like, you asshole, I've been sitting here waiting on you. I said, I just told you don't start till I get back. I, mean, I didn't tell you what time I was going to be back. <laughs> we, we flew to the store. Of course, I mean, when I go into the store, you get your best to do it, buy a book, you know. Mm -hmm. I buy a case every time I go into the store. Bought a case for me, a case for my wife. She only drank like two or three, but just in case. Yeah, I don't in case want her she's drinking. thirsty. Yeah, yeah, I don't want her drinking none of mine. <laughs> and uh, we had to haul tail back to the store back to the wedding and got started about 10 minutes late but it's all good to go though mm -mm -mm. yeah you can't leave your woman thirsty you know you gotta nah don't piss her off she'd then push right. me down or something <laughs> throw you in the pool yeah throw me in the pool it's too cold for that <laughs> well so what you selling your uh 10 to 19 sets for we got them at 589 89. 10 to 19. Slam 10s. That's it. Or you can call them a slam 19, whatever you want to call them. There you go. As long as you just call them. Just call on you to buy them, huh? That's it, right there. Yep. Them are good. Now I got a uh, drop proof, like that yeah. shows they don't break. Clean as could be. But yeah, we uh, ordered actually a couple more sets because. I'm going to put one in my own toolbox. I don't plan on never using them, but if I got to, they'll be there, you know. <laughs> you need to get you a beer opener and lay in front of it, on top of them, you know, and then put the case, the cover back on them. Yeah. Then you can open that cover and everybody think you're working on something. You just yeah. get that beer opener out. And... Well, that's what, uh, I'd share that story next week about what we do in the shop and stuff. And sometime during the week or Friday night or whenever, my <laughs> wife, I couldn't miss them. My wife would call me. I'll explain that story next week to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we got to go back in here and get to work on your race truck. Yeah. I don't know how fast we need to be to be competitive, but. I ain't got to be fast. It's got to be consistent. Yeah. That's all up to the driver, what the mechanic says. That's what I've heard. Yeah. <laughs> That's what my son tells me all the time. He's like, look, I just drive it. It's y'all's job to work on it, make I sure it's it. running. You I said, get it running, and my job to mash the gas. Yeah, that's what's... <laughs> Like, I let off of it when we go past the line, and I hit the brakes, and yeah. everything else is all on you guys. Yeah, that's about how it is with him. Of course, he, uh, I raised him up a little bit different. A lot of folks, most folks, you get to race track, and you say the daddy's working on their own car, then the daddy's working on the juniors and all that mm -hmm. stuff. And I don't do all that. That's what I tell my boy. If you want to drive it, you don't have to work on it. He changes his own oil every week. All that good stuff. There but you go. I ain't got time to be putting up his crap and mine, too. That's it. Well, I want you to drive my truck like you do that go kart. Yeah, we'll do what in, we can in do. In the top couple. That's where I to go. <laughs> we'll do what we can do with it. That's for dang sure. That's it. All right, guys. Well, I guess we're going to turn this thing off like always. Thank y'all for watching. If you want some tree bus wrenches, get over to that man right there. If you missed his number, go back and watch the intro because we showed it. Every week. That's it. I think it's even on the Matco videos, my number's on there. Yeah. <laughs> or gear wrench or any of them. On every video. <laughs> All right, guys. Y'all have a great week. And uh, like always, hit the thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes in the description. If you're not subscribed, it's real easy. You take your finger and you press the button and you're in. Hit the bell notification if you're already subscribed. That way you'll always get the latest, greatest content because... We're going to go live from the drag trip, drag strip one night, and you can watch Hamilton do one or two things, go or blow, because that's what it's going to be. That's it. Y'all have a good night. See ya.